Hallo zusammen, wir sind heute bei Tropical Marine Center und ähm, ich habe hier den Charles Westcott und äh, die Tropical Marine Center hat auch äh, ein Programm, um äh, Fische zu schützen, die Tiere zu schützen, das Reef zu schützen und ähm, das Programm nennt sich Cultured Livestock. Um, what, uh, what, uh, what do you do at uh, your program Cultured Livestock? I mean, the idea is obviously to uh, try and reduce the impact of uh, um, capturing wild animals off the reef. And this is obviously very important now with uh, the hobby to try and uh, limit the, the damage that we do uh, to, the, to the natural environment. So the more we can culture and if we can get a good quality, reliable supply of uh, uh, a good quality cultured animals, this means uh, less... Uh, Uh, impact on the wild resource and uh, so from an environmental point of view this is very important for the future of the hobby really yeah yeah you, you also um, had some uh, them, uh, rare species uh, yeah. cultured uh, breeding and uh, maybe we see it here yes so this is um, uh, we have two species in here we have uh, the Bengal cardinals uh, this was uh, for a couple of years was a big problem because we were taking a lot of fish from the wild, yeah? So being able to culture good quality species, um, uh, good, good, uh, good quality specimens, uh, again, it's just, uh, it's good for the environment. And then over here we can see um, this uh, small yellow fish who is hiding over here. Uh, he's a very special fish. This is uh, uh, from uh, the very first batches of uh, successful culture of this species, okay. which is uh, obviously fantastic. Like yeah. Yeah, the second batch. The yeah, second yeah, batch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got Great. the very first one yeah. uh, of uh, this uh, species, the very first one. Um, we uh, was brought into our UK site. Eventually it was uh, bought by a customer in, in America um, okay. for uh, a very high price. But uh, yeah. obviously it's a very valuable fish and it's fantastic to see that we can introduce a good quality, reliable supply of this fish without having to take... Uh, you know, uh, the fish from the, from the natural reef. But um, the other important thing about this is that um, in the past, uh, what would happen if you had a successful culture is it would be done maybe in Germany or in France, and the people in the country where that animal came from would have no benefit from that. Yeah. So part of our program is to make sure we try and encourage the local people who would normally be catching that fish to do the culture themselves uh, that's and this the means way. this is fantastic yeah, yeah it means that we're investing into this local economy we're encouraging these people not to um, have to go to the reef to get all the animals they need if they can breed them then they still get the benefit of uh, the, the resource yeah they the, can the money make, that is they, can, they can make the, their money um, exactly uh, Yeah, the yeah, reef yeah. will be a little be bit more safe. A little bit more safe, yeah. yeah. And this great. is the main thing we're trying to achieve, yeah. 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 Great, great, yeah. great program. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you. It's, uh, it's very important these days that we try and limit the, uh, the damage the that our hobby is doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Uh, Chats. Uh, I walk around and uh, see there is a, a huge step in this tank. Um, Is there the technique behind, or what? Why? Why you put in a, a, a glass, a glass step? Yeah, yeah, Christian. This is a, a new concept of ours. It's um, we call it the drop off, and basically what we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to recreate in a small space uh, what would happen on a natural reef, right? And if you think about if you go diving or you go into the ocean, you will see you have a shallow reef and then you'll have a drop off yeah. and you have some deeper areas. Now the problem is if you try to create this in a normal aquarium, the only way to do it is you have, uh, you have to build Huge up rocks, uh, yeah. lots of rock yeah, and yeah. so on. And the problem with this is it's, uh, it creates uh, dead zones at the back of the aquarium and uh, it's, uh, the fish can hide in there or you get uh, nuisance, um, uh, bristle worms and, and other uh, problems and then you can't get to them. So the idea with this is that we just create the shape of the tank so that uh, you can have this uh, natural shape uh, like would be on the, on the reef, but um, uh, with very little rock and structure. And it also means that uh, the, the fish and the animals that you are displaying 
uh, are in a, a, natural, a natural space. They're visible, you can still see them. They can't get uh, uh, too hidden away in the tank. And you have a, 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 a shallow area where you can put maybe your corals that need more light. And then a deeper area where you can put your soft corals and anemones. And uh, it just, it's a concept we don't know. We, always, we will see if uh, customers like it. But uh, we thought we would bring it to Interzoo and uh, put it on show and see if we can get some, some feedback. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. And uh, I like, I like uh, that there is a, a special sense zone. Uh, yes. Yeah. On the top. Yeah. 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 You know, again, if you uh, if anybody has been diving and you go into uh, uh, into a natural reef, this is what you will see. Uh, yeah. You will see some sand. You will see small pieces of coral, and, and then, then you will the go trouble. into a deeper yeah. area. And uh, it's obviously the animals that we are keeping come from that kind of environment. So what we are doing really is just trying to create. Uh, a natural uh, a natural environment for the for the display the only question is what we do with this space here and uh, we uh, we are open to ideas so if you have some good ideas you can tell us yeah <laughs> Maybe you can uh, put some uh, displays on yeah. to uh, to make the setup for the light or something like that. <laughs> something like that. It, I mean, one of the things that could work well there is if we had maybe uh, the lighting controller. So if you had a controller on the lighting and you had a display there, or maybe you can put a photo frame with some images of the aquarium. Uh, we don't know. We see. We yeah. see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> the time will work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great, right. thank you. It's a great pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Giants, I think uh, that's a nice uh, reef uh, tank uh, with a nice shape, uh, but uh, I think you forgot the light, or? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a couple of customers have said the same thing. This is a new idea we came up with. We used to, this is a 30 liter uh, Nano with a LED lighting here, but as you can see, it's open, yeah? Yeah. And uh, we have this problem uh, customers say, ah, oh, the fish are jumping out, or uh, there's so too much okay. evaporation. But um, if you put a cover here, then obviously it has an effect with the lighting. So anyway, we have to think about this, and we come up with this. And uh, it looks like it's just a lid on the aquarium, but um, if you have a look underneath, ah, you can see... at least inside. We have put the lighting and the lid together into one product, yeah? Okay. And this way it means that... Uh, we can close the close the aquarium. We we don't have to worry about uh, something getting in the way of the lighting. And uh, if we need to feed the fishes or we need to put additives in, we have a small hole. We can put it through there and uh, close it up. Nice and neat. Uh, again, it's a new product for us, but uh, we like it. We think it's nice minimalist uh, style. We do it uh, in the black as well, but uh, this is the white one. Okay. As a skimmer, uh, we have over here ah. a removable media tray. Yeah. You can open For this, ah. put your filtration media, and uh, slide it back in, and then this just goes in to the back. And the other good feature of this is it has a nice. You can open up the filter chamber, so it's easy to get in to clean and so on and so forth. So, um, uh, yes, new concept again. We will see what uh, what customers think, but it's nice and neat, and hopefully uh, we'll get uh, get some good interest. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the name is Aquaray Horizon. Aquaray Horizon. Horizon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we uh, we like the idea of uh, a nice flat line for the horizon. So yeah. This is where we get the name. Yeah. Perfect name. Good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I hope we see us in the in two years. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the next episode. It was really nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>